Hi Anand, I saw an interesting video about Warren Buffett where he says uh, some terrible things are coming for us thanks to inflation and our past policies from 2007, 2008 since the banking crisis, the way we have gone about giving free cash in the market and trying to fix all problems by giving a lot of free cash. He says we are in some interesting times. He has been very polite and modest and uh, as usual. But the old man has taken care of himself. At 92, he's, the bandicoot is very sharp. In pet, uncle, I'm calling him bandicoot. He's like Uncle Scrooge. He's got $150 billion parked waiting for this. Okay, what he's talking about it is worldwide prices are going in only one direction, going up and up and up. Initially, all investors were saying, uh, the professional economists were saying, inflation is transitionary. This is semiconductor chips. This will get sorted out today, tomorrow and all that. But it moved from one category to another category to another category. And in this video, he talks about his, his basically annual meeting. So this is before the Russian-Ukrainian war. Of course. Now I'm clarifying to those people. Yes. Long before the Russian-Ukrainian war. This is May of last year. And very prescient warning. He said, I'm the biggest house builder. And people are buying houses. Prices are going up. Raw materials. Raw materials is going up. Price of steel is going up. Everything is going up. I'm jacking up the price of house. Less labor. Is and the people is also, people are buying it. Yes. And we are now six months after that interview. Only now the Fed has moved to 0.25. By now, the retail inflation in America has crossed 7%. Something which has not happened for 40 years. And uh, what he explains in this video is, there is always a consequence for what you do True. in economics. Not many people understand it. Everybody has been happy for the last several years. Interest rates are very low and uh, the rich were making it good. And because of the pandemic happened, about 85% people got 1,400 from Biden. And before that, Trump, Trump was gave also giving it. some money. So they, every American, about 90% of America got about $4,000. And before that period, there was a survey which said more than... 50% of Americans could not rustle up $400 for an emergency. They were cash starved. They were cash starved and they got $4,000. So they really had it good. 85% of America getting $1,400 is a mind boggling sum. Yes. Now Americans like to spend money very quickly. But they were forced to sit at home. They did nothing. Because of the pandemic. And the pandemic. I'll tell you how bad it was. Guys from here who went there as software engineers who are staying there permanently, temporarily on H1B, got this yes. gift check. Some of my friends did too. Yeah. And then one of the persons I told him, Bank of America, because the interest rates were zero, they wanted to make money. So they said 2% into processing fee, two years no interest. Loan. Loan for $30,000. So it's not free, 2% processing fee, but that is absolutely nothing. They, they brought it down to 1%. Is. You are negligible for two years. At 1% is negligible money. So people bought, borrowed money. They splurged it in stock markets. You had those meme stocks and everything going Cryptocurrency. Yeah. Cryptocurrency and people simply didn't know what to do. And they had so much money, which they have not had for so many years. So the moment the economy came out, they started to splurge. True. And they splurged it on consumer goods. They splurged it on buying. You could buy a house with practically zero EMI at very low rates and housing market became very hot. A lot of people gave me that feedback that housing market yes. became very hot. Parts of Texas have been crazy. Yes. And then what happened is, once this happened, people started demanding more to come to work. So there was this led to a wage spiral. Wage spiral. Yes, inflation and, and wage. people were talking about $7, $8 two years back. At $15, McDonald's and Amazon could not find people to do labor work. To fill the roles. Yeah. Fill the roles. So we are talking about a huge labor shortage. And all the time they were worried about unemployment. Unemployment has never been lower in America. Correct. There is a concept in economies called Nairu. That is below which you cannot crack unemployment. If your employment falls below a level, inflation will go up. There was Before that there was a Philippi curve. Which said that higher inflation means more employment. But there's a point in which that like water cannot be too yes, hot. Equilibrium, yes. That equilibrium point is a it <clears throat> cannot be calculated scientifically. Yes. That has broken. The social sense, yes. Now what has happened is there are plenty of jobs available. There is nobody. 
at the same time the prices are going up and they are going up very fast now this was before the ukraine war ukraine war now the ukraine war everybody knows has affected only crude prices correct no it has also affected wheat and sunflower oil russia is one of the largest producer of wheat and ukraine is also one of the largest producer of wheat they are no, both talking exporter. about fertilizers they are great exporters now fertilizer will come and they are also one of the largest suppliers of sunflower oil so food prices which were already high which are already heated up heated up are getting more and more heated up now governments will become unpopular that's what happened in sri lanka turkey pakistan and russia now now when all this is happening so prices have to are bound to go up you cannot keep the lid on it so this is what the consequences he want you in may he said people have to pay the price for this yes. you cannot have free money things cannot be pleasantly good and things cannot be in a lid so this actually he is saying 2008 i would say it's happening from 2002 with that the put green span put Hmm. Yes, and, and, they, they, and they kept on, they have been doing this, doing this, doing this. Now, the supply links change in China is also stretched. Two reasons. One, they are following a zero COVID policy and uh, they have locked down many of their factories. True. So, there is a shortage in supply chain. And then there is another problem. The bigger problem in the China is that uh, there is going to be a big uh, age drop you don't have working age population True. in china so there is a f- increase in prices in the sub factory gate also all this means that demand it's a overheated economy larry summers is a democrat he has been talking about rising prices and how the fed is behind the ball that mohammed elarin the economist from cambridge has said there are two possible there were only two possible there outcomes outcomes that this is going to end either inflation is going to go out of control or the fed moves very fast and there is going to be a recession next year so two has to one of the two has to happen the fed cannot engineer a soft landing this is what he is saying what buffett is hinting is how do you protect yourself against inflation sure. he says so how the, do we prove uh, the best way to protect against inflation is to improve your skills because if your skills improve the kind of money you can ask improves and when the kind of money you ask improves you stay ahead of the curve correct unfortunately 95% of the people cannot stay out of the curve the next best thing you can do is invest in the best businesses at reasonable or fair prices unfortunately the they are not available has, yeah the free money shoved also showed so you have to look at what are these kind of businesses like microsoft apple and google which can grow perennially with very low investment so this is why i was suggesting in india we invest in the it index which last year i did shot up 50% so what i'm trying to say is this has to end and when it will end we don't know most of us who are watching will ask you when is it ending so we don't know when it will end but the end will come this is what said karaman said and it will be very harsh yes the higher you climb the larger the fall the higher the climb and the value of currency has dropped enormously people don't realize it sure. like there's a old bill lying with me which my dad which our father bought in 1972 when radha was 1 year old and uh, that's our sister was 1 year old she bought a he bought a gold chain for her and he bought gold at 27 rupees and 25 paisa a gram how much yeah yeah i know 25. my sister is 15 now yes in her lifetime the rupee has devalued 20 times Yeah, but like so what the, Buffett says, people don't understand no, the concept the of a trillion doesn't rupees, even have a meaning anymore. The hundred rupee note is not even worth one rupee today. True. Okay. Twenty. The gold coin with gold chain that the old man bought is twenty grams even today. That day he bought it for five hundred and eighty five rupees. I have the bill. Now I have to put one lakh for mm-hmm. it to balance the weighing scale. That is the level of debasement of money. And in what Charlie Munger says, in his lifetime. Your dollar has become six cents. That is America. Why not? In his lifetime, And dollars become so one rupee has become minus twenty paisa. So different countries debase their currency Three at different, different rates, levels. Yes. But as long as the water doesn't get too hot, you don't complain. So this is what he is trying to say. Anyway, I think we'll go and listen to some interesting times over the next few years. Yes, you will.
anyway thank you anand thank, thank you us. thank you for watching be rich if you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification if you really liked it please consider sharing it with your friends and relatives and if you don't turn on the bell notification you will be not notified every time we do a video i have written two books in english the alchemy of money and ordinary stocks extraordinary profits these books are published by us and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification